In this episode of No Money Spent, we start off my team by picking a John Moran, play the little clutch time game that they make us. And now we're here with our unopened packs and we can start off a brand new, I guess, journey in 2K with our 2K22 challenge award pack. Should be the first thing that you open just to see what you get uh, from 2K22. We got some wonderful new cards, including a Hall of Fame badge, plus four speed of ball, plus three speed of ball and a diamond shoe colorway, which looks absolutely beautiful. Um, pretty, a yeah, pretty decent prize. I wish we could get like a decent card out of it. Uh, but plus three on hands and plus three on defensive consistency. I will take a speed with ball boost up in general, which is pretty cool. Um, I have played one triple threat game to get this uh, reward right here, which is looking pretty good. Honestly, not too bad. And then we have the wonderful welcome to my team prize ball that you get right when you start the game. Nothing too crazy, nothing too cool. Um, just a nice bronze prize ball in case you want to use it. And apparently we're starting off with 25 tokens, which is, uh, I guess, a decent way to, to start at the token market just has, uh, okay, option packs in each one from the series one packs. That is actually pretty interesting. Uh, so you choose one, uh, one of 10, one of five. That's actually pretty interesting for each one of these uh, cards. It's, yeah, that that's weird. And I don't actually know much about any of these, um, I guess, seasons. I haven't unlocked the auction house either, so we can't look at it, uh, but it is pretty interesting to see it. We've also gone ahead and done one Evo on John Morant, and we're stuck here on the second one. So this first one's probably going to be just Evoing up John Morant and having some fun. We have to get 150 points or five steals if we want to do the defense upgrade, and then 150 points and 25 threes. Um, I haven't really played on anything that's too crazy with difficulty, and I haven't really had trouble shooting with Ja, so I don't, I guess, know how necessary it is to get the shooting Evo. Um, but it is probably the easier of the two than getting the five steals. I'll have to see which one I get first, though, uh, because obviously the points i can just kind of i can go for both of these and then kind of just do whatever i want to do uh but overall not too bad we got some fun things maybe check out what we have in the exchange got some shoes and some season one uh volume one players uh that's actually pretty interesting where you'll get an amethyst player pack a ruby player pack a sapphire and an emerald some gold some arenas okay you know what that's not bad um as well as up to a ruby coach um, actually pretty cool way to start it obviously the first thing that we should start doing is going to be domination uh, we have current golden age modern age NBA champions and all time domination definitely some big dog uh, games that we're gonna have to get through and look at that Julius Randall Mitch Richmond Mike Bibby Bill Wallen interesting uh and I'm so gonna work out a lot more games than we normally get uh, to start it. And there are some things to do in here. Uh, Henry the Blazian HGB already up to level 15 with 115 cards collected. Um, actually kind of pretty cool. We got a new locker code. We can just pick domination as the first mode we're gonna play. And uh, I guess let's just hop into some of these uh, token market packs and just see what we can uh, have some fun with. So I guess um, I really don't know who has the best cards, but we will i guess just do it by random i guess we'll go with one on the lakers just try to get somebody decent out of that it's actually 30 so um yeah we'll do two tokens and just kind of see what these are all about the lakers options back from the token market um let's see what we got we can pick one all right so this is why i guess it's in the the two token i guess version of it jay huff max christie Damian Jones, Juan Toscano Anderson, Austin Reeves, Troy Brown Jr., one Gabriel. Uh, definitely not some great guys, but I don't necessarily have a good center, so I guess we'll pick up Thomas Bryant um, out of those. So I guess you get what you pay for. If you pay for the higher tokens, you'll probably get um, better cards out of some of them, which is why that one's 30, because maybe there's some better cards in there. Interesting. Now, there's some ways that I think you can have a better time on 2K, and I think it's kind of generally having your team set like this. We have two kind of taller gold cards, I think, that can help out, and then our main kind of offense, primary guy that we're going to be evoing, which should be most of your guys' starter cards, especially if you picked up a guard, you can kind of head into here and uh, have some fun thing with a lot of these guys. Um, and slowly move up in, you know, triple threat, and then in clutch time, kind of just use whoever you got. In these, uh, I guess, earlier rounds, it's not going to matter too much. I have John Morant and Duncan Robinson to be my like, main offense, you know, primary score guys. Um, that can be pretty fun and also you know 
take a peek at these XP challenges and try to move your way up through them, especially um, once you get up to these higher, you know, tiers, you can get, you know, Steve Kerr, he'll have some XP tied to him along with some spotlight challenges. Definitely don't want to forget some of those, but don't, you know, don't forget about the XP. Um, and obviously I haven't looked too much in the pack market, but we do have some pretty damn good cards. I've seen a lot with these uh, Curry cards um, who have been absolutely insane, have been pretty fire. Uh, so there's a lot of pretty good cards in here that you can have some fun with and uh, get. Now they are 15,000 MT and 11,000 VC. So you're going to have to work a little bit, I think, to get some of these. Uh, but it might not be too bad uh, grabbing them. I think if we hit... What is it? This and then triangle. You can actually see it. Uh, I'm getting a 95 rate is only 2%, but you can do have a pretty decent chance about 74% of getting an 80, 43 of getting an 84. Uh, so we can kind of help you guys out. And it, we obviously saw the token market, which can help you out a little bit. Uh, but once you earn enough cards to actually open up the auction house, it'd also be pretty useful to, I guess, go ahead and you know snipe a little bit try to pick up some cards people are throwing up for pretty cheap um and just have some general fun and don't forget right here in the hashtag 2k day uh to throw a card that's going to meet the requirements that you need uh for this in three days 23 hours uh 2k day will uh finish and you'll actually get this option pack right there that says hashtag 2k day i threw my free agent Giannis because i don't want to use him uh so if i put him into this exhibition you'll get that option pack unsure of what's going to be but don't forget to actually utilize uh, some of these things that they got here for these exhibitions um, and have some fun and get some of those extra prizes. So I guess the next section we'll talk about like how you should get started and what you should do when you first are playing my team. Okay, so after looking at some things on 2k, I think the best way I think to generally get started in like a no money spent aspect, you can see we don't even have the rewards um, here is most likely to build your, uh, your your MT up. And I think the best way is probably to start off with some domination against some pretty easy teams. Uh, because you see a lot of these guys we are relatively matched with obviously on all star difficulties would be a little bit more difficult. Um, but it's going to allow us to get some, you know, I guess points, we can win this game by at least 15 points, we'll get a trophy case, we'll get a domination pack and then a domination pack here um which will give us some cards some extra things and some mt for winning these games we don't need to like hit an mt mark but we can at least get some extra challenges um if you aren't you know having the most fun time on my donation you're losing some of those games i think going into some clutch time getting some wheel spins and getting some mt earned off of that can also be a pretty useful thing along with triple threat also being a super um helpful way obviously to get up to some better rewards you're gonna need to uh work a little bit and get a lot of those games in uh but even you know winning five games you get some tokens you'll get some of these uh mt amounts um and it'll all around be pretty good i think for most people um, and there also are some challenges um, that can really help if you're somebody who wants to just learn the game and kind of have some fun with it um, as well before you fully get into it this Jordan uh, section of challenges can also be pretty helpful uh, once you finish it you'll get some extra stuff to add to your my team um, and just I think Jet have some general fun playing 2k23 and kind of get used to it uh, which is kind of fun so in general it kind of is up to you on what you want to do I think for this no money spent episode I just want to uh, give you guys some information you can also head out try to do some snipes and things like that um, and just have some general fun with the game but i recommend domination first um, and then after that probably clutch time and then dom and then uh, triple threat and then once you kind of get used to the game you can head into these jordan challenges and have some fun or if you just want to hop into the game and just kind of experience it um these always work let me know what you guys are going to do first down in uh, the comment section below like comment subscribe and all the wonderful stuff and i will see you in the next video